Yo, what's the word, everybody? It's your boy Jay. Welcome to episode five, the last and final episode of the Bud and Grub Show Summer Sessions with Mr. E. But it's cool though, don't even trip. We got something real special for y'all today. I'm gonna show y'all how to make pot tarts. Not pop tarts, pot tarts. I know y'all ain't never seen this shit before. Maybe you have, but my shit gonna be better, so don't even fucking worry about it. You're gonna wrap them both, let them chill for like 30 minutes to an hour, just so they can set back up and harden up. Wrap them in plastic wrap, let them sit for a minute. Then we're gonna move on, go to the next step. We're gonna fill it with our jams. We working with strawberry and blackberry today. Y'all ain't never had type, that type of shit, so. All right, see y'all in a bit. All right, y'all. So we done let them sit in the fridge for an hour, get ready and roll them out. Now I'm using this parchment paper because I feel like once I roll everything out how it's supposed to be and I try and pick it up, it's gonna crumble on me. I don't need that type of shit happening in my life. So we just gonna stay prepared, put it on the paper. That way we could just pick it up off the paper. Grab your dough. Truthfully, I'm gonna use another piece of paper. That way it don't break too much. That's how I like to roll mine out, keep it together. All right, so after you roll the dough out, you will have some extra, I chopped it off already. On the side, you wanna cut it to an even rectangle. Just to make sure I got an even one. I like to line it up. I got a good eyeball anyway. I kind of been doing this for a little minute. Poke holes in the top one. Strawberry jam and a blackberry jam like I promised y'all. We just put them back in this jar. These made from scratch. Strawberry jam and a blackberry jam like I promised y'all. Gently grab the top part, flip it over. Flip it over. Been the same for your last two. And just seal them off. All around. So yeah, you get the strawberry pot tarts. Forgot to do this. All right, y'all. So we just took the pop tarts out. If I ain't mentioned before, we sat them in the freezer for two hours just to let them set, get all situated and everything. Got the oven preset to 375. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in there and then I'm gonna show y'all how to make the icing as well. So. so I'm gonna go for about 25, 30 minutes. So I'm gonna do about 27. And in the meantime, we got our icing. None too fancy. Just powder sugar. Some people use water. Some people use half and half. Some people use milk. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to use water. You got the sprinkles for the topping. And that special stuff, because you know we gotta dose the icing as well. We ain't leaving nothing unlaced like a shoestring, you know? about it that consistency and you just let this sit once your pop tarts come out the oven you're gonna take them out let them cool for about five to ten minutes on one of these a cooling rack that way they even on both sides when they cool off and then yeah we're gonna ice it in the end we're gonna show y'all this official tissue real deal pot tart you know so we got them out the oven y'all see how they look and then took it out. We done let it cool for a minute on the cooling rack. Time to go ahead and get the final. So what I like to do is, I got my piping bag. I just like to draw a little square. 
Then while it's still wet, I'm gonna take it some sprinkles. Catch it while the ice is still wet. So I'm gonna finish the other ones off. Taste the jam, the icing, and that's good. It's dopey, I'll tell you that. You taste it a little bit more than you usually would. Thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed the Bud and Grub Summer Sessions with Jay and Mr. E. We done gave y'all five amazing recipes and desserts y'all ain't never seen nobody whip or infuse, especially a nigga like me. Thank y'all for sticking around. Hope y'all enjoyed. We're gonna holler at y'all though, y'all be smooth.